Welcome to this game. Vault. That's freaking Dane. <laughs> so whiskey. Hi. <laughs> hey, this is a gift from the Titan of Whiskey, Brendan Kite. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? It's yes, probably it's Brendan. He's. <laughs> it usually is. <laughs> Cheers, you magnificent bastards. Okay, so this is another, we've done several of these. Gee. Old Forester single barrel picks for, for SF Trader, San oh, Francisco Trader, yeah, right? Yeah. This is one that he brought us from Grove Liquor, which I'm pretty sure is in Wisconsin. Um, fourth Floor Warehouse One. What's now, that? we're gonna, it looks like snot. It's not snot. It looks like it. Either that or a uh, refried beans. I think it's taco. beans. Yeah. I think I got beans on my sleeve. The, the musical fruit. All right. <laughs> I need more of that now. <laughs> okay. I want to compare it to the classic uh, Old Forester 86. It's not proof. beans. Oh, God. Did you taste it? <laughs> did you taste that? It's like, what are you doing? It's chocolatey. It's chocolate. <laughs> Just go ahead. Oh, I feel so uncomfortable right now. That's nice. Here. I saved you some. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Oh, God. I'm not opening my eyes. Oh. Oh. Damn it. I got that one, too. No, you didn't. <laughs> All right. So, come on. There's a show. Quit pussyfooting around. I'm bringing it back. Pussyfooting. <laughs> well, according to that definition... <laughs> okay, so you want me to do this for you? I'd love to do all this for that you. dark you need... cherry, dark chocolate. Right. This is rich and and dark, and it's only at ninety six. Oh yeah, the, yeah. Or ninety means sorry, almost. It's all at ninety. It's almost like uh, an oaky maraschino. Yeah, maraschino cherry. Yeah, like wood oil, maraschino yeah. cherry, yeah, and dark chocolate. You're just smelling my sleeve. Oh yeah, it does rich, oily flavor. The thing I like about their single barrel picks, even though they proof them down, but they still have like a lot of uh, uh, richness to them. Yeah, like the oily character. That a lot of times the um, the bourbons, because they're not you know pot stilled spirits, uh, you lose a lot of that um, kind of like that thicker, creamier quality. But this, not is, this one. No, yeah, that uh, is really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I will tell you, for the whiskey nerds, guess the direction Old Forester is going. So for age, is their barrel pick program, their single barrel program, mm -hmm. they always proof it down to 90, right? Yeah. They're changing that. Why? They're now going to only offer two proofs. Okay. Cask strength. Good on you. And 100 proof. Okay. That's it. They're doing away with this one entirely. 100 proof. Uh, so yeah. bottled and bond proof, right? Right. Or cask, I, whatever it is. No, I know. Uh, from now on. Even smaller distillers. Um, They'll come out with a hundred proof, and you ask them why. It's like it's marketing. People like they like a hundred proof. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try it with the '86 classic old Forester, which I set down over here somewhere. I keep going back to that. I know, right? I, there, there is a very present um, ethanol. Like you can taste the alcohol. Mm -hmm. That's you know definitely there, and at that proof, it's a little bit more present than I. Typically, get from a bourbon, but the flavors are keeping up. Those classic, rich, surprisingly rich at that proof bourbon bourbon flavors are keeping up nicely. This what one's you, way more citrus and. What honey. did you pour? The classic '86 Old okay. Forester. Yeah, it's much less cherry on the nose so far. Yeah, it's a lighter honey and a flower note. Yeah, in well, there. I'm getting the citrus so, on the nose. Yeah, this barrel pick is a lot darker. Yeah, and it has has more heft to it. There's more density. There's a, there's a thicker set of flavors in there. What's that color? More intense. No, that's basically the same. It, the difference in proof, by mm -hmm. the numbers, is pretty um, negligible. Yeah, but the difference in flavor. It's a very, it's, very noticeable it's real. difference in flavor. Yeah, I mean, this is nice, but I think I'm pleasantly surprised by how much, according to our preferences, mm -hmm. this is 
uh, just a more rich, present, lively, interesting whiskey. Yes. But still classically bourbon. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No question. Right down the home plate. Van Traver, Traver, all of the reviews are fun and funny, but this one may be one of my new favorites. Absolutely hilarious. Never change, you magnificent bastards. Uh, and Terry Dolan added. Terry Dolan added. From now on, we should only refer to the content as, on this channel as, there's quotations. Yeah. Reviews. reviews. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite. The guy who gave us the whole compliment. Right. He's like, these reviews. Right. <laughs> Are great. And then <laughs> I it's really love funny. This. I love these <laughs> reviews. <laughs> uh, Uncle Mikey's world came for the reviews, but he didn't do the quotations. No quotations. The, came for the reviews, stayed for the drunken rambling. <laughs> <laughs> I would say since the very beginning, there's a comments tomorrow. Yeah. But since the very beginning, it's been mostly rambling. <laughs> <laughs> the, Never the, drunk. The welcome video for this channel mm -hmm. is basically a nod at how we occasionally remember to talk about the whiskey. Yeah. But I don't think uh, either of us, nobody across either of our channels, nope. has ever seen true drunken rambling from either of us. No. Just, we just ramble naturally. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it, not alcoholic induced. I mean, quite frankly, if you're doing any kind of channel involving like beer, wine, whiskey, whatever, if you're doing anything. A little fun, a little silly. People are just going to be in the comments. Oh, you're drunk. drunk. You're drunk off your ass. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're annihilated. It's like never been like super drunk on camera. Nope. A little drunk, yes. <laughs> super drunk. Well, uh, you know, the only time I've ever been where I was like, I don't like the way I feel, but I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, was when we've done like the really long list videos. Okay. And we've gone through, you know, like 15, 12 no, like, whiskeys. I, I, I think we've said it before. The most, the most questionable level of inebriation was I think it was episode two on the Whiskey Tribe channel, Whiskey Biscuits at the time. It was Ultimate Cigar Pairing. Oh, just because it partnered with the cigars for you. And we had, yeah. Yeah. We had <laughs> so many whiskeys, which is fun. We can handle a whiskey. You start stacking on like, I don't know, at least half a dozen cigars, if not, yeah. if not a full dozen of cigars on top of that, yeah. just to find the ultimate pairing. That, yeah. That yeah. one got you? No, that, yeah, that wasn't like, oh, I need to sit down for a moment. <laughs> yeah. Still wasn't, like, I could still shoot content. Yeah. I could still, like, make words. But it was to the point where, all right, one more glass, and this is problematic. This is... So percentage difference between these two, what do you think? Well, man, that's just it. You see variations in single barrels and then the, the, the broader releases all the time. Right. I think this is probably an example of one of the wider variances I have seen from the traditional release. Yeah. And... The single barrel. I agree. This feels like it's about 80% of what the regular release is. Yeah, I was going to say a 20% variation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was, yeah. Which is, like, this is pretty Which good. Which is impressive. Yeah. All right, now, starting this uh, our, this upcoming November 13th, mm -hmm. so a week and a half from when this video comes out, I think, yeah. is Dry Week. Dry starting Week. Starting Friday, November 13th at roughly noon. Right. And going to roughly noon right. on November 13th. 20th, which is like right before we get into Thanksgiving week. Okay. Um, so the dry week, basically, we're taking a week long break from content, but also it's an optional break that we take collectively as a community from alcohol consumption. And the intention is to just be conscious uh, and intentional mm -hmm. about the amount of alcohol that we're consuming. So it doesn't ever find a place into just a routine habit, throwing them back fast and heavy. Uh, and the main thing we want people to keep an eye on, just to be aware of, is it's not. Um, a crutch that you're, you're reaching for to dull off the rough edges of your life because this is not a way to fix yeah. that. Yes. Yeah? All right. And there will be no videos on this channel during that week. Yeah. Because we uh, go on vacations together. Because <laughs> we don't see each other enough. Lots of couples massages. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go on vacation on a cruise? We'll get cabins on opposite sides of the ship. <laughs> Meet up periodically by accident on the on the uh, pool deck. Do you think you could shuffle? <gasps> I could shuffleboard. But you, yeah, you are really old. Yeah. It's I like, was pretty good at it for a while. It's like old people sport. In like junior high, actually. It's like, uh, it's like, it's like open seas curling. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It totally is. It's open seas curling. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, old Forester, big brand. Mm -hmm. And I think it's popular for a reason. Yeah. Really, really nice. Business. I agree. Here's Dividing Stealing Drink. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your liberty. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink less. less. Ba -ba -ba -da -da.
Da 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 da